Well, Chicagoans are getting ready for Halloween. The city's annual Arts in the Dark march down State Street tonight. And Fox 32's Nate Rogers got to enjoy the parade and bring us much more. The best thing about Arts in the Dark, beyond the amazing costumes, is the cultures represented from around the world. Great energy and great performances. It's very lively, artistic, colorful. It's really been a great experience. It's my first time coming out. Drums. Diversity and dancing. With iPhones out capturing it all, Chicago's Art in the Dark back along State Street attracting more than 4,000 spectators. We're Chicagoans, so we try to do all the Chicago things. Mayor Brandon Johnson was seen greeting attendees, but it was all about family and young people having a blast. Some music, it just gets you going. It's, a, it's amazing. Uh, energy. Awesome. David from Hanover Park brought his children for the very first time. You really feel the, the energy here, and Chicago's a beautiful city, man. And you just feel the love, the Chicago love, the Chicago vibe. 50,000 participants from 90 of Chicago's finest arts and cultural organizations participated. The Windy City Ghostbusters were among them. Best thing about being at Braid this year is uh, basically showing off our foundation, showing out what we do, and basically raising charities for Larabita Children's Hospital. We're talking culture and colorful costumes. So what are you going to be for Halloween this year? A uh, sexy cat. A sexy cat? Oh, have you already, like, got your outfit made? Oh, yeah, got it picked out. Yeah, I got to get ahead of the game. You're Aussie. Union yeah, I love the dancing. Yeah. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. Happy Halloween! The amazing energy, all of the fun, wrapped up just before 9 p.m. right here in downtown Chicago. Arts in the Dark will be back next year, of course, bigger and better. Reporting from downtown, I'm Mitt Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.